So guys, so I want to talk about two movements that I have all of my incoming clients and athletes do before I let them do any kind of flag exercise and jumping, okay? It's all about working on landing mechanics and making sure we avoid injury in the future. So the two movements we'll be going over are the snap down and the low box depth drop. The snap down, grab that technique from Adam B of Ripped, and I'm sure you got it from somebody else, but watch the videos, it is, they're freaking great, so check them out. Now, snap down, you have the clients start vertical, hands overhead, make sure they're not overextended, and then the movement here in slow motion, you drop down, got quarter squat, arms are cocked back, and then you're ready to land and jump up again, okay? So, full speed, go, and then you come up, and then we'll reload and get ready to go again. So all the way up top, go, and you want this movement to be quick, bang, bang, nothing slow, it's not a slow motion thing, because never ever in your life will you be playing a game in a contest going that slow. So we want it to be game speed, we'll call it, okay? So here it is from the front, all the way up top, go. And then up. Okay? So again, I do this with beginning athletes, but my most advanced clients, I have them do probably at least five or ten of these before we do a plyo session just to get them going in that movement pattern. Just want to ingrain that thing every time to avoid as many injuries as we can. Okay? Now, the next thing I like to take clients through is the low box depth drop. So I have a box here, super low, we're gonna step up on it. And now, literally, you're going to step off the box and you're going to land in the bottom of that snap down position. Okay? So here it is again. Step off and land in that snap down. Alright? It's all about absorbing the contact with the big muscles and the big muscle groups of the legs, quads, hamstrings, glutes, rather than landing stiff and hurting that knee. Okay? So, Injury prevention as much as possible, that's what this stuff does. It's boring, it's monotonous, whatever. But if you think about where you're going with it, where you're gonna be, it makes it a little bit easier to do, okay? I mean, you're not gonna be able to do the fancy jumps and all that good stuff if you get hurt because you don't know how to land. All right, so we gotta start somewhere. Now, if I have a client or an athlete that presents with valgus, so their knees are caving in a little bit, but I'm trying to cue other things, I love mini bands to go above the knee. So, go to the mini band there, and we'll do a couple of snap downs. So, notice we're here, go, then you come up. So, what the mini band does is that it makes the athlete subconsciously think about keeping their knees out because that band is trying to pull them in. So, it allows me to coach other things rather than have to say, hey, keep your knees out, land soft do all these different things because obviously somebody can get overloaded and then you know, just overanalyze everything. So the mini band allows you to cue something without cueing something, if that makes sense. These can also be used in squats, air squats, whatever. Anything that you have possibility of valgus coming into play, throw a mini band on and you're automatically going to keep more pressure on the outside of those legs and hips. All right? So use the mini band. You can use these on depth drops as well. They're freaking great. Got these from Perform Better. I think there's some on uh, Amazon as well. So try them out. Any questions you have about landing mechanics, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day. Try this out. We'll see you soon.